Okay, so you want to go ahead and upload the file that you want to work with. I'm going to choose Bell, of course, and I'm going to choose Complex. And then on the Advanced Options, I'm going to put 75. Um, the higher the number, the more it grasps the color when you're selecting the image. So I like to get as close to the black line as possible. So go ahead and select on everything that is colored, just leaving the black outline. You could preview what it's looking like to see where you have to focus. For example, on the ear right here, the small areas need a lot more focus. Depending on your image, you might have to go with the lower color tolerance, uh, maybe 50. And then use the eraser tool to erase any parts that you don't want or need. to be careful when you get too close to the edge just undo Okay, so when you're happy with the way your design looks, go ahead and click continue. Save as cut image, name your file, and go ahead and upload it to your canvas. Once it's in there, um, I like to duplicate the image a few times. I find it easier like that. So the first layer is going to be the base, which is going to be black. So click hide all contour. For the second one, I like to start with the largest part, which is the hair on this one. So go ahead and click hide all contour. And then click on everything that is hair. You could click on the image or you could click on the side images. So once it's done, go ahead and place it on top of the black one. And I missed a little piece of the hair. So I could go back and select it. There it is. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and select another one. I'm gonna do the skin. You could color it now, you could color it after, it's up to you. So the eye needs to be selected, the eyebrow, all the little nose features, the mouth, and then everything that is skin.
process until you get everything of your image and layers. And last but not least, the lips. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the eye and teeth and I'm going to go ahead and contour that and then just select the lips. is finished so then you go ahead and make it and you're ready to cut on your vinyl cardstock whatever you're using if you want to cut everything in the same mat select one color for everything and just place it on the mat wherever you're gonna put your pieces of vinyl And there's the image. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.